So after one week in Tokyo with Maxine, I decided to embark on a little solo adventure around Japan. I wanted to visit three unique areas that I had never been to before. Huge thanks to New Denim for making this video possible. New Denim is one of my favorite clothing brands and has been for so many years now, so it was such a pleasure to work with them to create this episode of Japan Diaries. The first stop out of Tokyo was Hiroshima. This is a place I have wanted to visit for a few years now. Visiting the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum was an incredibly moving experience, perhaps even more so than I had actually anticipated. This was also something really special to do alone as I was able to move through the museum at my own pace. After an afternoon of exploring Hiroshima, I had to of course sample their local food, being okonomiyaki. I visited Okonomiura, I think that's how you say it, and somehow managed to finish the largest but most delicious okonomiyaki I've ever tried. The next day I woke up bright and early and got ready to leave for my next destination. I'm about to get on the Shinkansen to Kobe, which is where I'll be for one night. and I feel so incredibly grateful to be staying in such a beautiful room. I just cannot get over the view from literally every corner of this room. The view is just insane. Like this is the view from one window and then another window. This is the one that is on top of the bed, which is just insane. And then this is the view from the bathroom and then in the other room. There is this amazing view. I've just been googling places to go to get crow baby for dinner. You would think that I probably should have booked something or organized this before I got here, but I just didn't have a chance. So I figured I can just figure it out and wing it now that I'm here, given it is just me and I'm really happy to eat early because I have barely eaten today except for the little onigiris. Um, like a, hopefully it should be fine. I found this one on Google which comes highly recommended. It has over a thousand reviews so hopefully it's good. We're gonna find out. But in the meantime I'm just going to explore this area. It is called Sanomia. I don't think I pronounced that correctly but it's really nice. It's actually very busy here so I'm just gonna explore this a little bit and yeah then go for dinner hopefully. So I've ended up stumbling across what appears to be Chinatown and the food looks so good. I kind of want to save my appetite for dinner, but I also really want to try some of these things that they're selling that look delicious. So that was probably the best steak that I've ever had in my entire life. I think it's because it was just me and I also literally went to the restaurant at 5 p.m. But they were fully booked and I just feel really lucky to have actually gotten in. Anyways, I'm obsessed with umeshu, Japanese plum wine. Literally have had it every single day since I've been on this trip. I thought it'd be fun to check out a jazz bar and have some umeshu. So I found this one that was only like 500 meters away from the restaurant that I was just at. So. Now I'm walking there. It is absolutely freezing, but I do sort of feel like I'm starting to acclimatize ever so slightly to this weather. It is kind of hard because when I left Australia, it was like 35 degrees every single day. So this whole week has been kind of difficult getting used to how freezing cold it is. And I don't really feel like I packed properly. Like I do have a lot of layers with me, but I did not bring gloves or a beanie. And it's my hands and my head that are probably the most cold. So uh, just a lesson for next time. Good 
morning guys I just had the most beautiful start to my day I had breakfast at the breakfast buffet upstairs which was incredible especially the views and also the curry bread I'm just obsessed with curry bread and this one definitely did not disappoint anyways today I'm actually going to Izu to stay at a ryokan I think that's how you pronounce it which is called Ochiaro I believe it is about five hours away from Kobe so I've got quite a long journey ahead of me today I think I would definitely come back to Kobe again on my next trip to Japan just because I feel like there's so many more like delicious things I could have eaten and just beautiful things I could have seen and all the rest of it but anyways on that note it is going to be really cold again today so I need to dress really warmly I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to wear I'm going to start with these black jeans which are from New Denim I've worn them pretty much every single day on this trip they really are so comfortable and they are from their Beyond Black collection I also love how it's blue on the inside and then obviously the jeans are this beautiful thick black waxy sort of texture. These are the Nico straight and if you're familiar with my jean collection I actually have these jeans in two other washes because they're honestly my favorite cut of new denim jeans or just like jeans in general to be honest. They're just so flattering and just kind of look good with all different shoes and outfits and the rest of it. These are the jeans on. I absolutely love them. So comfortable. At the top I'm going to go with this black stretchy long sleeve top also from New Denim. I have had this top in my wardrobe I would say for maybe two or three years now and it really is one of my favorites. It washes really well and it's also super thick which is perfect for today given it's so cold. My shoes I'm going to go with these black boots from W Concept. I just love that they're quite high meaning again they're just like extra warm and my feet are just always cold so these are perfect. Just going with this really cozy, warm jumper from Zara. It's really not my favorite that I have in my wardrobe or anything like that. I just brought it because it's really comfortable and really soft. And given I'm going to be traveling for so many hours, I just want to be comfortable. Then I've just got my acne scarf, which I've had for about five or six years now. And the last thing I'm going to add is this oversized coat from The Curated. And I think looks really cute with this whole outfit. Anyways, I'm going to finish packing my bag now and head to the train station. After what honestly feels like the longest travel day ever, I think I was in transit for about five or six hours in the end. I have finally arrived at Ochiaro and it is so incredibly beautiful here. I didn't really expect it to be anything less, but it's it really is like so divine. And I feel like I'm just gonna have the most relaxing zen 24 hours of my life. I'm going to show you guys the room and then I'm going to head to the onsen and the hot springs and the sauna and just spend the afternoon fully zenning out. There is this beautiful bathroom but this is what excited me the most. <laughs> A little onsen bath in the room. This is the living space which later will become the bedroom as well. They'll put down the tatami mats for me to sleep in and then this is a little reading corner with the most incredible view. Then there's just this little corner here and I love that there are so many Akari lamps all over the premises. There's one here, there's also one in the entryway and I also saw them throughout the hotels so that is just obviously a huge vibe. But yeah, this is my home for the evening. I can't wait to just fully enjoy it and unwind. <laughs> guys today is my last full day in Tokyo because I'm flying out tomorrow evening I'm not feeling overly fresh today I'm not gonna lie I think I just drank a little bit too much last night but it's fine I also just didn't really sleep that much and I feel like every time I drink a little bit too much I cannot sleep so 
we love that but i'm getting ready this is what i'm wearing today i've got on a different pair of the new denim jeans not worn these ones on the trip yet but i absolutely love them and i just love how straight leg they are this room is pretty small and it's kind of hard to see them but when i'm out and about i will try and get a better angle of these jeans but they really are so flattering i about doing my leather jacket today for something a little bit different because i've been wearing that other jacket quite a lot i also think this will look good with the jeans hopefully i'm just gonna add my scarf and grab my bag and also i've gone with the same boots that i've been wearing pretty much this whole trip because they are the most comfortable shoes that I've brought and also the warmest shoes that I've got as well which I feel like at this point is just what I'm all about I'm just trying to stay warm and comfortable <laughs> We've gotten rained on like three times already today so I think I'm gonna head back to the hotel for a little bit and just warm up and defrost. This evening I'm going to this really beautiful restaurant called Hitotema which was recommended to me by a new friend of mine who also helped me book a lot of this trip and just helped me with the whole itinerary really. Feeling incredibly grateful for her because this trip has been incredible. This was my first time really solo traveling. Besides a day here or there before or after a brand trip, this was the first time that I was moving around a country so much all by myself. I think Japan is the perfect place to do this as not only is it so safe, it is a country and a culture I am particularly drawn to. As a self-proclaimed extrovert, I really didn't know what to expect from this week, but I absolutely loved the challenge. I found new ways to connect with people I met along the way and could definitely see myself doing a lot more solo travel in the future. Thank you guys for following along and I hope you enjoyed the second episode of Japan Diaries. See you soon. Bye!